I always thought the real testimony to his mystique was the fact that so many people believed maybe he hadn't really died. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 dead people rumored to be alive. Do you think we'll ever get to see them? I don't know. I don't know. That's a call for the White House. For this list, we're looking at individuals who are rumored to still be among the living despite their confirmed passing. Is there a celebrity conspiracy theory you believe in? Let us know in the comments. Number 20, Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs was an absolute genius when it came to developing smart technology. Well, what we're gonna do is get rid of all these buttons and just make a giant screen, a giant screen. Could that mean he was able to outsmart the world and fake his own death? Despite passing away at the age of 56, Steve Jobs sightings began to appear on the internet in the summer of 2019. Die-hard Apple consumers and conspiracy theorists firmly believe that Steve hasn't actually left this world. Instead, they claim he distanced himself from this company because he was unhappy with the direction it was going in. But with Apple making some questionable choices in recent years, we wonder if the real Steve Jobs would have sat idly by if he were still alive. Number 19, Amy Winehouse. It's been a very sad scene here, actually. There have been people who clearly are affected by whatever's happened, who've been sitting with their head in their hands in the street. Um, there's a very somber atmosphere here. Songstress Amy Winehouse passed away in 2011 from alcohol poisoning. But ever since her death, people have been investigating whether it's possible that the singer is still alive. Many fans have claimed that there are too many unanswered questions when it comes to her passing. Some have even gone as far as to taunt Amy's father and try to convince him that she faked her own death. Of course, her dad doesn't believe it. Do you have regrets about how, you know, you... Well, I regret that my, my daughter's passed away. I mean, I suppose that I could have handled certain situations better than I did. But if she's still alive, where is Amy? The believers claim she's living on an island with other deceased celebrities whose deaths also don't make much sense. That must be one rockin' island. Number 18, Paul Walker. There's no question that actor Paul Walker's abrupt death shocked fans around the world. On November 30th, 2013, Paul was on his way to a charity event with his friend Roger Radas. They lost control of their vehicle, a Carrera GT, and crashed it into several trees. That Porsche is one of the most powerful vehicles on the road in North America. Even the manufacturer reportedly warned dealers it was built as close to a race car as the company would ever go. The footage of the crash soon led many to develop conspiracy theories about what really happened. Some suggested that as the car was in flames, a figure can be seen standing up. Many also claim they were wearing fire-resistant suits. Additionally, there's speculation that the license plate found at the crash site wasn't the plate belonging to the real car. What was the last thing you heard Paul say? I'll be right back. That was the last thing Paul said, is um, right before they exited the driveway, he um, looked at uh, some of the guys with the Ferraris and everything else. He goes, hey, I'll be right back in five minutes. That was the last words I heard. Number 17, Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee was a martial arts legend who passed away in 1973 after suffering from a fatal reaction to a prescription painkiller. His death leaves the whole of Hong Kong in shock. One day he was alive and well and he was being Bruce Lee and he was on the verge of achieving everything he'd ever dreamed of and the next he just was gone. But many fans raised their eyebrows after his death. This is due to the fact that Bruce was considered to be extremely healthy throughout his life. In fact, his physical health was deemed to be superior, making the event so shocking to most people and the main reason why many assume he hasn't left this world just yet. There's absolutely positively something a little shady about the way that it all went down. How he could, uh, you know, pass away at that age, you know, but it, it does happen, so I, I, I learned to cope with it and deal with it but it always puzzled me. Instead, they believe it was simply Hollywood he wanted to leave behind. Number 16, John McAfee. Who can forget the McAfee didn't kill himself hashtag that went viral around the world in 2021? My wife is, is, uh, uh, is sort of put out because I've, I'm up and up and down all night long looking out, out windows and things. I mean, uh, people do think I'm paranoid and perhaps that's a paranoid act. John McAfee was reported to have died in his prison cell just hours after his extradition to the United States was approved. 
However, it's John's own tweets a year prior that have people wondering whether his passing is real. In October 2020, the computer programmer slash businessman tweeted that he was content and that if he dies like Jeffrey Epstein, it'll be no fault of his own. And just a few hours after his passing, McAfee's official Instagram account posted an image with the letter Q. For many, all this is enough evidence to suggest that John is still somewhere out there. But he's a fighter. He's always a fighter, and anybody that knows John, that knows him even a little bit, knows that about him. He would never quit this way. Number 15, John Benet Ramsey. Now, this is just cuckoo. John Benet Ramsey was a six year old beauty pageant contestant who mysteriously died the day after Christmas in 1996. The murder and the mystery around it is capturing worldwide attention. Reporters from Australia are in Boulder. British newspapers and television are carrying the story, and the tabloids will too in their next editions. In yet another unusual twist in this unusual and tragic case. However, conspiracists believe that John Bonet is actually still with us. In fact, a group of individuals have compiled evidence that suggests John Bonet is actually, wait for it, Katy Perry. That's the bizarre conspiracy theory floating around the internet after this 2014 video resurfaced online. In the seven minute long clip, an unseen man named Dave Johnson makes a string of claims linking the pop star with John Bonet. By comparing their eyebrows and physical resemblance, they came to the conclusion that the two are indeed the same person. The theory suggests that John Bonet was in hiding until she became a successful pop star. It's all very odd for many reasons, including the fact that John Bonet and Katie weren't even born in the same year. Number 14, Juice World. When rapper, singer, and songwriter Juice World died abruptly in 2019, it took everyone by surprise. And like many others, his passing fueled plenty of conspiracy theories. So many questions as to how a seemingly healthy 21-year-old could die so unexpectedly. The biggest evidence that Juice World might still be alive is a tweet he made in 2017. Juice wrote, quote, My goal is to get overly famous, shine for a couple years, then fake my death. It's pretty much what happened, right? Juice's fans have even shared their own theories on TikTok, with some pointing out the lyrics in his song, Legends. Here, the singer says he won't reach the 27 Club because he isn't making it past 21. What's the 27 Club? Oh, oh, oh. We ain't making it past 21. Juice World was exactly 21 years old when he passed away. Number 13, Kurt Cobain. On April 8, 1994, Kurt Cobain was found unresponsive in his home. The cause of death was revealed to be self-inflicted. One of the most prominent fan theories is that the musician was planning on leaving Courtney Love. Why do you think that everyone thinks you're the good one and I'm the bad one? Because I know how to use my illusion. <laughs> They say that she wasn't happy with that decision and he therefore had to fake his death to get away from her. Many state that they have seen the long blonde haired guitarist in several places over the years. Fans also believe that the note he left behind was meant for his band, pushing them to take on solo music careers. Number 12, Jeffrey Epstein. Jeffrey Epstein notoriously died in his prison cell in August of 2019. It's a federal prison, notoriously underfunded, something of a hellhole. And it's revealed that the guards were sleeping, the cameras weren't working. Everything that could go wrong went wrong. His death immediately sparked wild conspiracy theories due to the fact that he was an influential persona with plenty of famous connections. Trump shared a tweet and a video that claimed without any evidence that former President Bill Clinton and former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton were responsible for Epstein's death. Really? Really? That's your theory? Some have even reportedly spotted Epstein in New Mexico and believe that he's plotting to seed the human race with his DNA. UFO expert Richard Lawrence even claims that he had great cosmic intelligence and was actually an alien. And two weeks before Jeffrey was found dead, he revealed to his psychologist that he's too much of a coward to ever end his own life. Number 11, Osama bin Laden. Osama bin Laden was the man behind the infamous September 11, 2001 attacks that claimed the lives of more than 2,500 people. Bin Laden's life ended in May of 2011, when 23 Navy SEALs raided his hideout. However, many are suspicious of the fact that it took 40 minutes to find Osama and kill him. If you want to believe that can go in and out 
and evade any radar, uh, you're in fairyland. You're in Lewis Carroll land, Alice in Wonderland, whatever. The only reason they could even plan the mission with as little, as little force as they had is they knew there would be no opposition. People also raised their eyebrows at the decision to bury the terrorist leader at sea and not release any photos of his body. He was uh, buried at sea according to uh, Muslim tradition. There was a Muslim seaman uh, who was there uh, and they wrapped him and said the prayers according uh, to what is uh, part of the Islamic tradition, the idea being not to inflame the Muslim world. So where is he then? Well, some claim that he's a CIA asset, right? Number 10, John Lennon. In 1980, legendary singer John Lennon was assassinated just outside of his home by an obsessed fan. Witnesses told police Lennon was shot near the door to his apartment building as he and Yoko Ono returned from a recording studio. Since the fateful day, many can't let it go and are convinced that the former Beatle is still alive. There's even evidence Lennon is still here in the form of Mark Stacer, a rather convincing John Lennon lookalike. Stacer has the same accent as John and looks very similar. He even got to play Lennon in a 2009 documentary titled Let Him Be. If you fall into the Mark Stacer YouTube rabbit hole, then you'll see some of the commenters just can't shake the idea that this is actually John Lennon himself playing his own double. Number 9. Marilyn Monroe In August 1962, the world was saddened by the news that Marilyn Monroe passed away from a suspected overdose. The verdict seemed plausible. Hollywood's most glamorous star was known as a party girl and a drug user. But right from the start, the verdict has been questioned. This sparked numerous conspiracy theories, not to mention an alleged sighting. A man by the name of John Baker claims that Marilyn's death was a hoax and that he would know because he met her 22 years after her passing. John states that Monroe was admitted into a mental institution and forced to leave after her money ran out. Her death was staged. Her psychiatrist, Dr. Greenson, had her committed to a mental institution in New Brunswick, Canada because of all of the threats on her life and the complete mental breakdown she was suffering from all of this turmoil. He says he met her in 1984 as she was hitchhiking to Halifax, Nova Scotia in Canada. After he told her his last name was Baker, she revealed her name was Norma Jean Baker, also known as Marilyn Monroe. Number 8. Andy Kaufman Actor, comedian Andy Kaufman died in 1984, the same year he announced he had lung cancer. Many years later, his brother Michael appeared at an award show in Andy's honor. It was here that Michael claimed to have received a letter from his brother in 1999 through a set of strange circumstances. In a bombshell moment, he then introduced a woman to the stage who was supposedly Andy's daughter. And the 24-year-old woman supposedly took the stage and talked briefly about Kaufman, the man she claims is her father. She said he never told the family he was a famous comedian and she had to look him up on YouTube to learn more. So. Did Michael Kaufman reveal the greatest hoax? Michael stated that the woman knew far too many secrets about the Kaufman brothers to be a fake, including their secret handshake. However, in 2013, Andy's sibling accepted that he may have been part of a rather elaborate hoax. So just to, just to reiterate, you now don't think that it's true? You think that this is a hoax and you were a victim of the hoax? Correct. Number seven, John F. Kennedy Jr. This theory is a favorite among the conspiracy group QAnon. While JFK Jr. died in 1999, conspiracy theorists were more than convinced that he would come back in 2020 and support Trump as his running mate. Some of these bananas were saying John F. Kennedy Sr. was going to show up too, which JFK was born in 1917. Even if he was alive, he'd be 104 years old. <laughs> Why not bring back Abraham Lincoln, too, while we're at it? In 2021, they took this theory further and held a small gathering in Dallas where JFK Jr. was expected to make an appearance. I tell you that this wasn't a joke to these folks, and they earnestly believed it. Uh, I mean, some of them did have shirts made up for the occasion. This one says, Trump Kennedy, keep the world great. This one says, Trump JFK Jr. 2024. The same group also believes that a man called Vincent Fusca is actually JFK Jr. in disguise. They claim that John is in hiding and is now working as a financial services manager. Number six, Prince Philip. 
While the majority of England mourned the death of Prince Philip in 2021, conspiracy theorists were quick to claim it to be another hoax, while others say that he already died. Prince Philip, serviceman, campaigner, great-grandfather, and a beloved husband. Prince Philip theories first appeared in 2017 after the Queen held an emergency meeting, leading many to believe Philip passed away. This was not the case. Since then, the rumors of his passing became fairly prominent year after year. Some have even stated that Prince Philip has more lives than a cat. But it's Philip's determination to hold on that seems to be the reason why so many others doubt his official passing. People also think he's in a cryogenic tank and is waiting for his defrosting. Number 5. Jim Morrison Jim Morrison, one of the most important singers of his era, is dead at 27. Jim Morrison passed away in 1971. However, because there was no official autopsy performed, people had a lot to say about his passing. Some even state that he may have paid a doctor to forge his death certificate. In 2009, reports stated that Jim had been found alive and was living as a homeless hippie. In 2019, he was allegedly spotted riding a bike and even waved at the cameraman. In between those years, hundreds of people have supposedly seen the person they think is Jim. It all goes back to the lack of autopsy, as this is the main evidence people hang on to when arguing his death. He's dead. Sorry. I'm sorry. Number 4. Tupac Shakur This is by far one of the most popular conspiracy theories to date. Rapper Tupac Shakur passed away in 1996. However, to this day, people are still convinced he's alive and well. The reason? Those who allegedly killed him were never found. The biggest misconception on this case was that it was Suge Knight being involved, not the case. His friend Suge, who was in the car that night, also believes he's not dead. In a TMZ interview, Suge said that, quote, if he was dead, they'd be arresting those dudes for murder. You know he's somewhere smoking a Cuban cigar on an island. Fans are also suspicious of the number of Tupac albums that have been released posthumously. In fact, seven of his 11 albums have been released after his passing. Supposed evidence here includes his seven posthumous records, a supposedly fake autopsy photo, and his mother's choice of words when she told the world that her son Tupac, quote, chose to leave quietly. Number 3. Princess Diana When Princess Diana's life tragically ended in 1997, the entire world mourned the loss of their favorite royal figure. For many, the idea that she could have been killed in an accident seemed impossible. Immediately, rumors began to grow that there had to be more to it. There had to be a conspiracy. Her death was also the subject of several conspiracy theories. While some believe she was killed by her own people, others claim she faked her death to escape the royal family and finally live in peace. According to these individuals, she lives on a small tropical island with lover Dodi Al-Fayed, where they are very happy. Safe to say, many wish for Diana to truly be alive and happy, surrounded by the people she loves the most. I need from the heart, not the head. And albeit that's got me into trouble in my work, I understand that. But someone's got to go out there and love people and show it. Number two, Michael Jackson. Did anybody witness what happened? Uh, no, just the doctor, sir. The doctor's been the only one here. When the King of Pop, Michael Jackson, died in 2009, the news left his fans completely heartbroken. He's dead and I just, I'm, I'm stunned. Really, I'm stunned. I'm, I'm hurt. I, I grew up with Beat It and Thriller and Pretty Young Thing. However, people were quick to point out some inconsistencies surrounding his death. Some claim to have seen him coming out of the coroner van on the day of his passing. In fact, singer Akon and producer Teddy Riley have both reportedly shared that they think the superstar is still alive today. Over the years, MJ has been supposedly spotted everywhere, including in the back of his daughter's car. Jackson lookalikes have popped up around the world, and many people are convinced that one of them is actually him. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Elvis Presley Elvis Presley passed away in 1977, and immediately people started to question the legitimacy of his death after pictures of the rocker in his casket looked nothing like him. This was the conspiracy theorists' main evidence that a body double was used. 
Elvis's gravestone also misspelled his official middle name, which is Aaron with a single A. Some people believe that Elvis wanted to retire, and the only way to do that was to fake his death. And of course, there have been tabloid sightings of Presley as well. Most of those are quite humorous to everyone except those who were closest to Elvis Presley. The king of rock and roll has been spotted all over the world. There's even an alleged sighting in the 1990 film Home Alone. Now that's something to scream about. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.